Howdy howdy, my name is Good Guy Mike. welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to another quick and dirty tutorial, this time on how to get herbs which are used in naphtha, which is used in torches and lamps. Okay, so the first thing you are going to need is a sickle. So make sure that you have a sickle on your side right here, just a primitive sickle will do. What you're going to do is you're going to go onto the ground, okay? And first off, you need to look at your levels and make sure that you have this, this skill right here the herb uh, herbology skill herbalism unlocked and how you're gonna unlock that is through nature's lore so you're gonna grab gather plant fibers until you unlock gathering once you unlock gathering you need to go and collect search for food in the grass for seeds and then you're going to do herbalism okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto the ground right click go to nature's lore and search for herbs okay your character is going to take a quick second while he looks around for some herbs on the ground alrighty did you see that all of a sudden these little plants popped up around us now this is the part where you need to have the the sickle equipped because what you're going to do is you're going to go up to them and right click and gather herbs he's going to pull the sickle out and start chopping away at the base of them and he's going to start collecting a herb now there is no consistency between it as far as I can tell the herbs that spawn in there are completely random and you're going to need to take Take some time to just collect as many as possible. Now, once you've collected a good amount of herbs, which we have not from these two plants, but luckily for you guys, I went ahead, did you the courtesy of getting myself a whole lot of herbs, okay? Once you have enough herbs, what you're going to do next is you're going to take some stone right here. This is the stuff that's just dug out of the ground, and a pick. You're going to right click on your pick, go shape, and you're going to go down to mortar and pestle. This is going to require two rock. Okay, go ahead, craft yourself a mortar and pestle. It's pretty easy. The guy just does it with his hands. Make sure you have the pick in your inventory, not on your person. Okay, and he's going to craft yourself a mortar and pestle. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to right click, mix a preparation. Now, when you first start, okay, these only the two top slots will be unlocked and you can only make one uh, effect at a time. And none of these are going to tell you what they do if see if I put them in here a few of them show me what they do so this one is an antidote this is a restore small health potion but this one is completely unknown my character has no clue what this one will do when it is combined okay so luckily for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and find myself two with the naphtha element and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix them okay hold on one second Alrighty guys, so I went on ahead and I found two that had the naphtha element for it. Okay, Menken, Ankin, and Co Chromenta Celica. Now here is the rub, okay? Unfortunately, these herbs are not going to have the same effects for you that they do for me. So it is completely random between characters. All right, so that means that you're just gonna have to do some trial and error. Now, once you find two that have the naphtha element, just by combining them randomly and unlocking features, you're just gonna go ahead, click the craft, your character will go once again through a crafting animation and like that, ta-da, I got a little bottle of naphtha, and this can be used to make torches and lamps. Alright guys, so, thank you for watching, I hope this helps out a lot. If it does, let me know with a like or subscribe, and if you guys want to see a video in the future, go ahead and tell me and I will try my best to provide it for it. Okay, so, anyways, in the meantime, you guys, keep being good guys, and I will see you in the next one, take it easy. Hey guys, this has been a quick and dirty tutorial for Life is Feudal. If you enjoyed this, then let him know by leaving a like, favorite, subscribe, or commenting and asking what you want in the next tutorial. Anyways, thanks for sticking around guys. Go ahead and check out the actual series, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.